Hello everyone, my name is Paul Samayoi, and we're back. Pokemon Y Shiny Hunting Episode 224, yes, yeah, sorry, 224 Rotom. If you didn't watch the last episode, why didn't you? And this episode's topic is by me. It's a personal thing, so I'm just gonna say it. So it's about how I used to, well, not me, no, not me just alone, but also my family. Uh, well, I'm just gonna say it's me personally, because, you know, I just don't really usually like talking about my family all that much, but anyways. <laughs> um, yeah, so pretty much, I used to live in a ghetto village called the Project. Projects, and you're probably, if you've never heard of the Projects, I don't know if it's a very common thing, but, um, for most, I don't want it to be racist, but mainly, like, black people and all that, um, they know about this because it's, like, it's pretty much normal for them, uh, just a lot of... But I know I sound like really racist, but I'm not. It's just honest, because I know a lot of uh, black people, they've at least been uh, there most of the time, unless they're like super rich or something, which a lot of uh, people, you know, a lot of black people are, honestly, because they are, have a lot of talent. Uh, but anyways, um, yeah, I know. <laughs> you probably are just thinking really bad of me now, but I'm just, just saying it. I'm just, you know just seems common to me honestly but anyway for me uh we were mainly there because you know we didn't really have all that much and that was actually yeah honestly that was to my memory that was our first real uh home that we stayed there for like i think at least four years uh, a good amount of time that was like uh because before that of course like the whole car life traveling and then um sometimes uh we would, like, be in, like, apartments and stuff like that if we were just too exhausted to be in the car. Um, if we had, like, the money just to use. Um, but anyway, so, yeah, so it was interesting because I made a lot of different friends, had a lot of experiences, uh, life experiences about that. And, um, sadly, I think that's where, like, like, most of my family, like, my brothers and sisters, they got, like, uh, messed up in the head, you know, because, uh, you wouldn't think they are when you, like, if you meet them in person and all that, but they're, honestly, I'm just gonna say it, they're pretty two-faced, like, they'll act different, completely differently when pe other people are around, but when they're not, they'll act, like, pretty much demonic, like, imagine me being an angel, and them being all devils, demons, that's pretty much what it's like, pretty much, they're not, like, absolutely doing, like, killing people and all that, but they're just, you know, most of them are not right. Pretty much all of them are one way or another, but anyways, um, yeah, so, pretty much I think that's where he, like, molded them for that to happen. Like I try, like I said, I tried to teach him to help him out, you know, um, like a few years ago, uh, just to, like, not act like that when I finally found myself, like, who I should be, and, uh, yeah, it just didn't work out, but anyways, besides that, um, it was really fun because, uh, because it was a, a village. There's a lot of different, like, cats you would always see around. Like, just normal cats. It's usually just going around. And, like, behind the houses, there would actually straight up be, uh, for real woods, like, uh, heavy woods. And it wasn't very, uh, rare. It was a pretty common thing for you to see, like, snakes, like, in the grass and all that. And there was always, like, a lot of theft going around. And, honestly, uh, I don't know if this is a topic, but, yeah, one time, we actually, you know got robbed like um it wasn't like gunpoint or anything but someone came to the house at night and like stole my mom's wallet or something and they were honestly they weren't very smart because uh i think like a month later or weeks later uh one of the i guess they were, yeah they were pretty good friends of my family and me um but one of them one of the like the kids like the same as my age i think uh he was like in the because it wasn't, like, too scary of the grass to go in behind our house that we were living in. So we were, like, able to just, like, jump around it and stuff. But, of course, there was always that chance that there could have been a snake in there. So it was kind of risky. But, um, yeah, just, uh, they found, like, the wall. And we are like, what the heck? What kind of idiot? They must have been in such a rush. Um, yeah, I didn't even notice it. Um, they must have been really smart. But, anyway... Yeah, just 
I just thought I'd mention that because I wasn't just going to make that a topic alone because, you know, it's just, just whatever. It just happens, you know. Some people have uh, crazy thoughts and then who know, maybe they'll become like uh, as good a person like uh, people like me uh, just because they did bad things in their life. Uh, maybe they'll be able to make up for it. I don't know. But anyways, um, yeah, and then that's also the time where I made, where I thought he was my best friend because... I think that's like about the age where I actually have my met my current best friend in school because that was back when I was like in the fifth grade. Um, now that I think about it, yeah. Uh, but anyways, yeah, uh, that other boy I was talking about who's not my best friend, but I wish I can see him again someday because he's the one who really got me into um, sprites because he was such a master at it. He was such an artist. Uh, we always would create. Like, I would always love to be the the character Meta Knight from Kirby. I just loved him so much, and I still think he's a pretty cool character, honestly. I just don't play Kirby really anymore, but... Hey, if y'all would want to see that on the stream one time, I probably could, like, get it on the emulator. Or just actually get the for real game, because honestly, it's a fun one, like I said, but it just, like, pisses me off. Because uh, some certain things do happen that makes it pretty difficult, but... Some good experiences with Kirby. And I even have some good old Kirby themes on my 2DS, so, I don't know. But anyways, um, yeah, Meta Knight was, like, always my favorite, and I just love Kirby sprites in general. They were really awesome. I made a lot of Kirby animations on the Flipnote app. But anyways, um, yeah, like I said, I'm not going to say his name because it's still invading privacy, so I'll just say he's a good sprite, pretty much. I'm just going to call him the Sprite Master <laughs> from my experience because, honestly, he was the best and really the only one I knew that did that. Uh, he lived not in the same, like, area, but he lived, like, across a road, like, in another... It wasn't as big as the projects, but it was, like, almost the same size. It was, like, a woods over. It wasn't super far away, but it was interesting making the travel there, because there is a path, the path to get there, and, uh... Yeah, it was very interesting. But, um... Anyway, he was a good guy. I think he was about, like, I think he was, like, 16. So he must be, like, four years older than me. So, yeah, he was really cool, though. He acted uh, pretty much, like, the same age as me. Uh, and honestly, I appreciated that, because usually I don't really like when people just, you know, belittle you because you're, like, younger than them or something. I really hate that. But um, just like some people uh, do that. But anyway, yeah, he was a really cool guy. Um, he, had, he had so much creativity, like how I do now, um, and he really loved Kingdom of Hearts, too. He's the one that also really got me into that game. Like, uh, back then, I didn't care what pissed me off, what games pissed me off, I would just play whatever. Um, I would like, he, he really is the one who got me into that. When I first saw him play, um, Kingdom Hearts 358 and a half, and a half days, it pretty much is like 358 slash two days that's what the title is called and it's it's an amazing game like i said it pisses me off because there's so much difficulty in it um but anyway he's the one who really got me into the kingdom hearts as well so he he's like got me into a bunch of things uh even though we were like pretty poor uh he would we would always be able to scrap up money for that kind of stuff and um when i mean scrap up money like i mean save up but honestly it was fun times i really wish i could meet him again someday, because he's a really good childhood friend of mine, um, but yeah, he's, he's awesome, he's just a really awesome guy, um, but yeah, it's pretty much like, pretty much it's like most of, that's what my life was, and I know it's like a whole four years, and there's like a bunch of other stuff that happened, but honestly, it's just pretty much the, the wrap-up of that, to be honest, um, of course, when I say to be honest, I am pretty much always telling the truth I'm just saying it's like that's pretty much it that's what yeah because sometimes it just to be honest comes out of my mouth and then and you probably think oh what do you lie normally then but then no that's not what I mean so anyways oh uh, yeah so that's pretty much it for that life uh, not life to yeah, personal things so yeah it was a pretty cool experience but of course also pretty dangerous because of all the things that could have went wrong but we were blessed thankfully to not have those horrible things happen, like anyone gets super hurt because of another uh, person that wasn't right in the head. But anyways, yeah, so, 
I'm going to talk about. Because I don't talk about Pokemon Soul Silver. I told you all that I did of that. Um. Huh. If I am able to, like, have some time today, if the whole, um, editing the tags in to my video doesn't take up the whole free time I would uh, like to use normally for, like, sprite creating and currently, um, training Grapparis, um, then, yeah, hopefully I can do that, but if I want to, of course I'll mainly focus it on the sprite creating, because training rappers could always come another time but anyways um yeah because i just wanted to make sure to completely focus on that because like i said get your priorities straight if it'll help me give views and then you know if more people are inclined to possibly donate then of course if it's, as long as i'm doing it in a fair way because like i said don't be lying about like what you're tagging in your videos like don't make like one of these videos that i'm making and say and say you're playing like Dragon Ball Z or something like that. That's like a complete lie. So yeah. <laughs> Unless you're actually doing that, like you actually put in footage of you playing Dragon Ball Z in the video. Don't be, don't be freaking putting that in the tags because then you're a liar. So yeah. <laughs> so I just really hate people who do that because uh, sadly I have seen a lot of people do that and it's just it really pisses me off to see liars. I hate them so much. But anyways, um, yeah, let's talk about, um, I guess I will talk about, because I didn't have a duel with my friend yesterday, sadly, I don't think he had a day off, because he, I, I've, I, um, found out exactly where, like, he, not the exact location where he lives, but, like, the general area, um, so yeah, it's definitely, he probably he doesn't have the same, uh, certain days off and on school as this, my area does, um, but anyway, it's interesting, so, maybe he did, but we didn't get a duel either way yesterday, um, but yeah, it was, uh, pretty crazy, the duel I had, it was against a random, and it was a tag duel, and pretty much, it was the longest duel I've ever had in such a long time, and it was long for a certain reason, and the reason I stayed there was because, um, my two opponents, not the... I don't want to say the names, of course, none of them. Um, but pretty much the two opponents were pretty much dicks. They were absolute dickheads. And um, I was just like... They were pretty much... One of them was like calling the strategy that we were going by because there was a certain card that my partner brought out turn one that it couldn't be targeted or destroyed by card effects. I'm not even going to say the card because... I'm absolutely against those cards, but the opponents were do was using just as bad of cards, just as unfair and overpowered, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to roll with it and hope they deck out, because there was no uh, way that they could have taken down that card except for by the, um, by a card that destroys monsters, but that doesn't target them, that just straight up is like a, is like a Harpy's Feather Duster or Raigeki, but in that case, you would most likely need to use Raigeki for that. Um, but anyway, yeah, it was like, it took an hour, pretty much, maybe even a little more because of all the talking, because I was, like, telling them that they were dickheads, and they were calling, like, uh, me and my partner, just me specifically, because I was talking, I was going to be the last one, which I see up, so they were calling me a wimp, and I was like, you know, you're a dick as well, and then, yeah, it just took such a long time, but anyway, yeah, if you enjoyed the episode, if you'd be so kind of support, maybe donate to my Patreon. As long as you're not putting yourself in a bad spot by doing so, of course. And feel free to. The link is in the description down below. And I'll be seeing y'all later. I've been your host, Ponce de Mayoy, and... Goodbye.